42-yard line. And that's where West Virginia will get it, first and 10. So the Mountaineers set up shop in very good field position at their own 42, leading 14-6. to six. Their own 42-yard line. Up 14 to 6. Pat White still at the controls. And off home Smith. He's got run score today. And he charges into Maryland territory. Brought down by Milton Harris. Right now, keep it up. It's game, at the Maryland 38-yard line. A 19-yard gain for Owen game. Schmidt. Tell you what, Owen Schmidt, the old Fairfax Rebel. He has earned his stripes today. It all happens up front. The big guys get a push, good lead block, gives him a seam. That one he's virtually untouched. And that's one of the few times you'll see all day today that the Jericho's haven't really been on the mark defensively. First and 10, West Virginia at the Maryland 38. Mountaineers trying to march for another score. Jason Gwaltney is upended by DeQuell Jackson and moves forward for maybe about a yard. It's up second down on our Aaron scoreboard. Louisville now living up to their ranking over Oregon State in third. Michigan the same over in-state rival Eastern Michigan. Virginia and Syracuse having a Donnie Brook. Ball game there. Yeah. Georgia by 17 over Louisiana Monroe in the third at Athens. And Duke continues the shot out on VMI. Schmidt three runs, 35 yards, and a touchdown. Good day's work. Second down at eight. White out of the shotgun. This is Schmidt again. Another big hole. on the run and he's got West Virginia knocking on the door at the two. Oh Schmidt just turned into Larry Salka. That, <laughs> I tell you what, you talk about running downhill. This guy leaves a mule. Boy, I love it. Guy running hard, knocking people off in the process. That's pure football. Nothing fancy about that one, buddy. Well, you made the point. He's from Fairfax, Virginia, and it talks up what's important about this rivalry. These two teams recruiting each other's backyard, and that's one that got away from Maryland and into the West Virginia uniform. 34-yard game. Hand off. Not much there. That looks like Jason Walton. And he is thrown back by DeQuell Jackson, among others. Mike Hogwood mentioned the sound that you can hear the, the, the popping of the pads. This second half has been violent. Here's DeQuell Jackson, you know, meeting the back right at the point of attack, but it's little things. And the momentum, you know, it was even. It was even. And then the penalty comes up, you know, and then Maryland gives West Virginia new life, and good team make you pay for it. Well, West Virginia has made the Terrapins pay for that, certainly. Second down and goal from the one. Smith and Williams are set back. This is Williams. He's in for the touchdown. Or is he? Yes, he is. Pernell Williams hurdles the pile into the end zone, and West Virginia gets an important insurance touchdown. I'll tell you what, it's a great game because it tests your will, and it tests it late. We're in the fourth quarter, and it's pretty hot out there. And it's a, it's a game that was so close. You know, we're looking at seven and six. We're looking at thirteen six. Anybody's ball game. And now the Mountaineers seem like they, they seem to want this a little bit more. Well, that was a little closer than I thought. Down to the point after by McAfee. It is up and it is good. And West Virginia now with an important tack on touchdown. Pernell Williams going in the end zone. His fourth career touchdown. His first of the season. And it is West Virginia 21 to 6. Helmet stuff. Bell ringing stuff. Doc said it in his keys. West Virginia's got to be physical, and I think they've delivered the message this afternoon. After punting five straight possessions, they've scored their last two, and for the second time, they kick one out of the end zone, and Maryland will not bring this one back. But the West Virginia Mountaineers cap their drive. Fans of the Mountaineers of all ages here in College Park. I wonder if that kid knows what he's cheering for. I know that kid knows what he's cheering for. He's cheering for his barber. Oh, man. Did you see Mike Hogwood in the hairdo like that right down the middle? But how'd you like to be paying for this young man's tuition? How about that? I know that pain. First and 10 from the 20. Hollenbach. Out of the 
the shotgun. There's an urgency to Maryland's step now. The pass completes the center. Short of the first down. Seven yard gain out to the 27 yard line. ACC football produced by Dave Barringer. Our director is Dave Burchett. Dave Burchett still here? in the truck. Are you still here? I think he's still here. And, of course, uh, producer of ACC football today is Beverly Rumley. So we've got the whole crew here in yeah. College Park. Good job to everybody. No, in, case I forget, in case I forget to tell you at the end. Ten and a half to play. Hollenbach. Play action pump across the middle. I mean, this guy, no one has stopped him. Put him out there. He's almost like Jordan. That they say the only guy who can keep Michael Jordan at 25 points or so was Dean Smith for Carolina. Well, all you do is give him the ball, and he makes things happen. And this time he gets some help from his friends in the secondary, and the Terrapins are back in this ball game. Yeah, that is a kick the point after here. And Maryland find themselves within eight if this one's successful. Four-yard pass reception for a touchdown. The kick is good by Dan Ennis. Let's take a look at this again. All in Boston, pretty good pass protection. This time see the pump. Pump gets people out of position, and then the man child takes over. But you can see this even if you have bad vision. <laughs> Vernon Davis is a freak. Absolute freak. Because you're not supposed to be able to be that big and run that fast. He's got soft hands, blocking at the point of attack. The kid's got great competitive instinct. And that's what you need, boy. Not everyone has a guy like that. And I'll tell you what, JoJo Walker has been another guy that stepped up and been fighting today. Hollenbach has been fighting. I mean, the Terrapins have had guys in there swinging, but they need some consistency. they got to play smart. Well, they haven't been able to establish the run, and now it's almost too late. Well, yeah. They're well, down eight, and now they've got to go to their studs. They've got to find Fenner. They've got to find Walker. And as you said, they got to find Vernon Davis. you got to find Vernon Davis. I mean, when Mario Merrill's lead was just, I mean, was caveman by that blitz backer for West Virginia told me all I needed to see. I mean, you can't have anybody dominate you like that at home when you're trailing. And so Friedman basically took the ball out of his hands. I don't blame him. you got to go to the guys that want to compete. Now, Maryland has found those guys. Unfortunately for them, the guys in the blue helmets are loaded with competitors as well. There's Roberts to kick it off. with the hit, and you know that Coach Rodriguez and his entire staff told all those guys before, hold on. The only way they can get to you now is if you give them the football. Looks like Danny Akendo covered up on it. First and ten now. Maryland in excellent field position at the West Virginia 27-yard line. First turnover by the Mountaineers today. The right goes with the football. Next is on. Hit as he threw. Incomplete. Lucky to get rid of that one because I tell you, Kevin McClee, the junior from Uniontown, Pennsylvania, was about to eat Sam Hollenbach alive. West Virginia has found a way to get pressure on the quarterback. They've had real nice, you know, even out of their scheme, they found a way to get the right guy in Hollenbach's face. And they keep West Virginia's defense out here on the field. Melendez split wide out to the right side. The slot is Walker. Wide out to the left is Fenner. Vernon Davis, the wing back to the right. Hollenbach will keep on. Touchdown. Gets it down inside the foot to the 20. 
on the second down play. It'll be a pickup of uh, seven yards. Well, Sam has shown this ball game he's not shy. He'll take off. This is a designed quarterback draw. This time, watch it. He tucks it. He's got the helmet knocked off again. It's hitting going on there, buddy. Mike Hogwood has earplugs in his ear for this ball game. Third down and three. It's loud. 52,000 plus here at Bird Stadium, and they're seeing a whale of a football game. Hollaback back to throw. Blitz is on, but it's picked up. Hollaback time to throw. It's complete to Fenner. Marked down at the 11-yard line. He's got the first down. That was a major league throw there, folks. I'll tell you that. Beauty about offense is so dependent. You need everybody to do their job. You get a nice block at the point of attack. Hollenbach with a razor sharp throw. The catch held on and thinner. When you miss a game, you come back, still have team concentration. Big play for the Terrapins. Not a couple of big balls today. Split wide out to the left. Hand off Lance Ball. And not much there. Somebody lost a shoe. 44 last ball on the carry. And the tackle made inside by Keelan Dykes, sophomore from Youngstown, Ohio. Let's see who lost the shoe. Second and ten for the 12. Shoe on that one. Yeah. Oh, that's Donnie Woods, the left guard, sophomore from Dade City, Florida. A little equipment problem there. We have to work, play barefooted, buddy. You can't afford to give up a timeout at this point in the game. Nope. You tell you what, Ernest Hunter, Craig Wilson, along with Dykes, have been stout in the middle for the Mountaineers. 3-4, three, 3-3, four, three, three, five alignment is the pass on the back, complete for Walker. Walker, touchdown, Maryland. And it's a two-point game, and Maryland will be going for the top. When in doubt, go to a playmaker. And JoJo Walker, along with Vernon Davis, and now Finner stepped in there with the trigger man, Hollenbuck. This was a dangerous throw. I guarantee you Ralph Friedgen's heart stopped for a moment, but it got there. And JoJo made a move, and the Turtles are now back in the thick of it. They've scored twice in a minute and 58 seconds to turn this ball game around. And a successful play here will give us a new ball game at 21. Vernon Davis comes back in motion. Hollenbach looking his way. Fires pass out of the end zone, incomplete. West Virginia holds on to the lead, 21-19. But Maryland has said the game is not over yet. The pass to Walker for six. And that's where we are right now at College Park. Closed captioning for today's telecast provided by SK, America's Men's Store, and the wardrobe supplier for our Jefferson Pilot Sports broadcast crew. Well, we went 35 minutes with only six points. We've had 20 points scored in the last 217, the last 13 by Maryland. West Virginia with the ball. This is Rivers headed upfield. You hold your breath on every carry now up over the 27 yard line. Well, our Suzuki walk-on way of life featured player salutes David Holloway, the junior linebacker, walk-on in 2002, an iron turf, highest strength index among linebackers, and he has a good pedigree to boot. His father is Brian Holloway, NFL All-Pro with New England and the Los Angeles Raiders, and his uncle, or actually his grandfather, is Johnny Pye McKenzie, who was a star from the NHL, old NHL Boston Bruins day. Yeah, his old man's an excellent player, one of the nation's foremost motivational speakers, and a good guy. First and ten, West Virginia. Here's the reverse, Darius Raynaud. Turns the corner and runs over a Maryland defender to the first down. That is Kershaw to bring him down at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 10, actually 11 on the play. There's Darius Raynaud, and here's the play again. Again, the Mountaineers, they make you think, boy. If, you, if you're lazy, they're going to eat you up because they force you to keep your thinking cap on, and they break tackle. Every guy that touches the ball for the Mountaineers has the ability to make you